Mikey Marler out in front. Brandon over to third. How about Dalton Wilson in the Kentucky based 18D team running at third? Battle for the lead out around this 3 8 mile D shaped oval. It's still Mike Marler out in front of the Ronnie Delk Longhorn. Right now, Mike Marler has led from the start. Right now, pick up the tail into the field into turn number three behind Boom Briggs. There's the mount of there. O'Neill will throw the slider on Wilson. And Wilson back at him down the line by a nose. O'Neill has the spot. Dalton Wilson battles on the inside. Out of turn number two, give the third spot to Hudson O'Neill as we work lap 12. Marler now to the inside. He'll split Boom Briggs and Tyler Bruni. Now he'll work on the rooster. Dustin Linville down the back straight away. Again, it's been a 1,000 to start this race. Linville got it to the end. You see Overton right there, the top of your screen, the Muscle Factory 76. Into turn number one. It is Marler battling through heavy lap traffic. O'Neill is third. Wilson fourth. Davenport fifth. Thornton is sixth. Rice seventh. Blair eighth. Hughes is ninth. Zach Dome remains tenth. Tyler is eleventh. Marlow works the outside of Garrett Smith in the one. Whoa, right there behind him. Here comes Josh Rice. Rice will work the bottom to go side by side with Ricky Thornton Jr. to turn number two. Down the back straight away. Good side by side battle there between Rice and Thornton. Josh Rice, can he do it on his home track tomorrow night? Three in a row in a row of Latham. Against the best in the nation out of turn number two. Rice working the outside. Down the back straight away. Josh Rice running it's in car 11. The Racing for Heroes restart zone. Here comes Davenport. Here comes Dalton Wilson. Here comes Thornton and Josh Rice. O'Neill. That's where they finished last night. First and second. O'Neill and Overton, but they trail last night's third place finisher, Mike Marler. Started on the terminal maintenance and construction pole. Here's the battle here. They're trying to go three wide. Spencer Hughes working the bottom. They will try to go three wide. They almost did it. Rice. Bending off the 18, and here comes Tyler Herb. Tyler Herb up to nine, trying to split him down the back straight away. Tyler Herb. And he's trying to fit that in there. And down the main straightaway. Try to rhyme this into one. Herb working the bottom. Out at two, down the back straightaway. Good race there between Spencer Hughes, Dalton Wilson, and Tyler Herb. Here comes Dome. Here comes Blair. Getting racy at the pond with 28 scored, 27 scored rather. Now we got a battle for the lead behind Garrett Smith. As we work on lap 30, we still have 20 to go. Make it 19 with Marler. Here comes O'Neill. Can Marler put it in O'Neill's winning streak down the back straight away? Hudson O'Neill seeking his first career championship in the Lucas Oil Late Mud Dirt Series. It'll be settled at Eldora Speedway in the Dirt Track World Championship coming up in October. Get your tickets now, EldoraSpeedway.com. And a turn number two down the back straightaway, Mike Marler. Works the outside of Ross Robinson. Here comes O'Neill. Hudson O'Neill through the middle up top. Marler trying to squeeze by on the outside. He does it, Ross Robinson. 17 to go. As they come out at turn number four, trying to get around the 111 of Max Blair. Three to go. It's not over yet. Here comes O'Neill out at two. Tennessee and Indiana for the lead at the three. Two laps to go. Mike Marler, here comes O'Neill with a winning streak continue. Will it end here tonight at Ponderosa? Two laps to go. Mike Marler, got to stay cool and calm. O'Neill, two car links back, white flag, one to go. Final lap, O'Neill looking to make a bid. Marler, which way will he go? Will he shut the door on the bottom? O'Neill giving it up up top. And the ninth different winner in the Lucas Oil Late Monitor Series this year is 157 Mike Marler with a victory. Hudson O'Neill finishes in second.